Hi everyone, it's Marley from CellHub.com and I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S4G. Right now we're going to take a look at the front and full screen menus of this device. The Samsung Galaxy S4G comes with seven customizable home screens. Your main home screen, which is the key, the home screen you get when you hit this home key, is the home screen four. So this, is, this can't be customized, this will always return to this screen. But you can scroll to the right, and as you can see, as this is just right out of the box, we don't have a lot on our home screens right now. And some more blank ones. So I think the first thing we'll take a look at is how to add things to your home screens because we have so many blank ones at this point. So we'll see home screen two is blank. To add a widget or anything else, you just press your finger on an empty space and this menu will pop up for you. So in this instance, let's put a widget here because this is blank. So we'll hit widgets. And I want to add a calendar widget. Okay, now I haven't synced my calendar yet. When you do sync it with, say, your Facebook account or any of your email accounts that you maintain at Google Calendar or anything like that, it will sync right into your calendar and they will pop up on your home screen. Now let's scroll over to this blank one and here I want to add a shortcut. So I'll click shortcut and I want to have a direct dial. This means that I can pick a contact. We'll pick my friend Joe and clicking that will allow me to call Joe without having to go into my phone button or my contact list. So now let's take a look at one more blank home screen. We'll click here and now I want to add a folder to this screen. I want to have my recent documents here and there's your folder. All right, now that is how you can add every possible type of widget to your phone home screens. Say you add the wrong thing or you add something that you decide you don't really need. You press and hold until it vibrates and you slide it down into the trash until it turns red and it just removes it for you. All right, the last thing you wanna talk about on your home screens is how to change your wallpaper. Now, I happen to really like this wallpaper that they have up here, but if you want it different or you want a family photo or a photo you took or a different customized wallpaper, you can go in here. So you can look in your gallery. You can look at live wallpapers, meaning that they move, or home screen wallpapers. So we'll look at live wallpapers. And I think that we'll do the grass. This is going to show you a sample of what it will look like. And we'll set this as our wallpaper. And there's the grass. And I have this time on this phone not set yet because I haven't set my time zone as it's just out of the box. And so if it were really 5.42 a.m., it would be sort of dark with maybe a little bit of light coming in. So there we go. That's It's registering what time it is. The next thing we're going to take a look at is your full screen. On this particular device, you hit applications to view everything on your phone. Now, I, this is just the preloaded applications. I haven't downloaded anything new. So it comes with four pages. As you download more, it adds pages. So if you go over this extra eight spots, don't worry, it will continue to add pages on. Um, and while we're in here, let's just take a look maybe at a couple of the things that are in here. Uh, let's, for now, we'll take a look at Media Hub. Media Hub's pretty neat. Okay. Media Hub's really neat. You can download things, anything from movies to TV shows that were on, you know, last night or a couple days ago. Um, in this particular store, you do not need to download Inception because it comes on this phone, which is great. And I think I just clicked it for you. So let's go out here and I will show it to you. It's right here on your home screen. You can either leave this link there if you want to watch Inception, or you can trash it how I showed you and know that it's in your Media Hub. I'm not going to trash it because I want it on my home screen. All right. Well, that's your full screen and it allows you access to everything on the phone and will continue to as you download from the marketplace. And this is your home screen. All right, thanks for joining me. Check back to learn how to text, email, and web browse.